I'm Raja Eli Abdelnour. I'm editor-in-chief of NEGM Clinician, which is a new publication from the NEGM Group, publishers of the New England Journal of Medicine. Our goal is to keep practicing clinicians informed. To do so, our clinician editors pick the most impactful and practice-changing advances in medicine, and then write short stories to summarize the research and tell you why it matters. I'm excited to bring you this first video update. We know from trials conducted decades ago that asymptomatic patients with carotid artery stenosis can benefit from surgical endarterectomy on the long term if they're okay tolerating the risk for strokes around the procedure. But since then, medical advances have advanced tremendously, so a new study is needed. In a new story, Dr. Alan Brett discusses CREST-2, in international trials where researchers randomized 2,500 patients to either surgical endarterectomy, carotid artery stenting, or medical therapy alone. After following them for four years, the researchers found that surgical treatment had no advantage over medical therapy alone. Carotid artery stenting did have some benefits that was statistically significant, whereby there was a reduction in the number of non-disabling strokes. But that benefit came with a trade-off. Periprocedural disabling strokes and even one death happened around the time of stenting. To hear more about what Dr. Brett has to say about these results and how they can impact your practice, and also to see what's new in NEGM Clinician, please visit clinician.negm.org.